So let's uh, let's do it. I'm Chris, and uh, we're going to talk about some list format and excited stuff. So, of course, we're going to head over to our Warrior Horses site. Now, on this site, you know, this is where we track all sorts of things for the horses, for their battles and their wars and all sorts of lovely things. And one of the things they track, of course, is their top secret facilities. And where better to store your top secret facilities than in a SharePoint list that's open to uh, the whole organization? Perfect. So we're going to create a new list. We're just going to create a blank list. We're going to call it our top secret facilities. Sounds good. We'll create that. And then we're going to rename that because we just put no spaces, so it didn't have it in the URL. But we'll rename it here, put some spaces there, and we'll save. Ba damn boom. I'm not sure that's where it's put in. Boom. Sounds good. All right. Now, what we're going to look at today is the location uh, type of column, right? So if we add a location for our facility, and in this case, we're just going to call it location because we're feeling super creative, right? And we're going to save that. And of course, let's populate a few of these. Uh, so we've got some data to work with. Uh, let's, of course, we need our Bronco Wigs Incorporated or Incorporated. That sounds great. And that's going to be located in the Sun Sphere here in Knoxville. All right. And then we're going to save that. And then let's add another one here. Just so we've got a few more. The Horse Milk Station. That sounds good. <laughs> we're going to go with uh, Yogurt Mountain. Perfect. I'm right, going to save that. And uh, let's add another one here. We'll add the Explodey Laser R&D Facility. And of course, that's going to be at uh, Laser Spine Institute in Florida, as we all know. And of course, let's add one more here, and that's their uh, mess hall, where all the horses need to get their oats and such, uh, or apples. That sounds good, like an apple barn. Uh, and winery, yes, where the apples and wine flow like water. All right, let's save this. So now we've got this lovely thing here. Let's zoom slightly. And what can we do with this, right? So we added the location. Uh, we've got this thing here. We've got a nice hover car that will tell us details. It's got a map. It's very cool, right? Uh, but what if we want to do some formatting on it? Or what if we want to take a look at it in different ways? Well, one of the options we noticed when we were in column settings and we were editing that, we had these additional kind of projected fields here. So if I wanted to just put those out, say, in separate columns, I could save that. And look at that. So now it takes out the details of each of those locations kind of spreads them out here. That's cool. But what if I want to do some with formatting and I want to keep it kind of simpler? I want to keep it in one single column. So let's get rid of those extra columns for now. And let's take a look what we can do. Now there's a few different formats uh, that apply here. And we're going to just look at how you would look at the individual properties of that location field and how you can use those in formatting. So if we go to format this column and we're going to go a little bigger so we can see it. We'll leave the schema as is, and we're just going to add things like, you know, an Elm type of div. All right, and we're going to say, uh, in this case, we're going to put some children in there uh, just so we can work with it. Oh, interesting. I haven't seen that. That's new. Um, that was nice of them to kind of start me off here. We're just going to add this as a link, and we're going to say our text content. So we're actually going to get to some stuff here. In this case, we're going to say at current field which will be our location, but we need to get to some sub properties. So in this case, we want to say the display name. That's going to be what we're seeing here, this like the Sun Sphere, the Yogurt Mountain. And then, of course, we want to put some attributes in here. Uh, let's go with attributes so we can add our link, for instance. Boop, boop. All right, and I'm just going to copy these so we can see them here. So I've got like an href and a target and a title. And I'll go through what they are and show you how we're accessing these properties. So in this case, all we're doing here is we've got we're building a URL to Bing Maps. And in this case, we're going to access the current field coordinates dot latitude. Now these are case sensitive, so keep that in mind. And then coordinates longitude, right? And we're just going to build this URL. This is just a URL, and then we're going to put that coordinates in the uh, the tooltip. So let's preview that. Now we've got this lovely link, and when we hover over it, we can see our coordinates. And if we click on it, we're going to open a new tab. And we're going to go into Bing Maps to wherever, I don't remember which one I clicked on was. All right. So that's cool. So now we can start to work with coordinates. So we saw that. And we can go a little further, right? So we can come over here and uh, let's just add a quick thing here where I'm going to add a, let's add another child. 
And we're going to add another Elm type of, we'll say, div again, because that's my favorite. Okay, and we'll say our text content. In this case, we're going to see some of the other things we could do, right? So we could do at current field, and we could say things like address, and we could say street. So address.street, we preview that. We start to see that shows up. Uh, now, if we change this slightly, so if we come up here and we put a thing here, we can fix that style issue we're having there. And we're going to solve it just with the simplest way possible, and that's with a display of block. And that should fix that for us. Let's see that. Yep, beautiful. Okay, so the idea is we have street, but we could also do things like city. Let's preview that. Or we could even do state. With the idea that we've got uh, several properties, again, case sensitive. So state, and of course there is, you would think maybe country, but it's not. It's country or region. All right. We're going to preview that and boom, there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the whole thing. This is a sample that is available to you. Uh, it's called the location address uh, in our formatting gallery. But the idea is here, I can take all of those values and I can decide how I want to do them. If I want to put some icons, I want to put some you know, styling on this. Whatever I want to do here, maybe that is not, I want to link to Bing Maps, but maybe I want to link to an office location, right? If I'm showing up various office locations, all sorts of cool things I can do with this. All right, so let's save that. We'll keep that going. But what if we wanted to do something else? Now, there are a number of samples related to maps using like Bing Maps or Google Maps. Um, they've got very static maps, APIs, and we've got samples. And at the end here, I'll show you some links uh, to those samples. So you can check those out. Um, and we've, we've shown some of those before. Uh, a lot of times they require an API key. So for this demo, I thought I'd show a little bit, something a little bit different. So let's add a single line of text just for simplicity. I'm going to call this weather. Weather. And we're just going to create that. And now we're going to apply a format inside weather here. And so if we go to column settings, we're going to go format this column, and we're going to go to advanced mode. So we get our nice JSON editing screen here. And again, let's start with a div. All right, so Elm type of div. There we go. And of course, we want some style type stuff. But let's let's come back. I'm just going to grab. So the idea is I've picked a weather uh, image widget. Um, and again, I picked the one that I picked because it specifically doesn't require an API and it's totally free. But one of the uh, complications it has is that it's United States only. So this is more of an example of what you could do, maybe not the absolute best thing you could do. Uh, generally, you, you do something better with a, with an API key, either something you're paying for or you've got a free, you know, somebody calls, that kind of thing. But in this case, we're just going to do that. And all we're doing here is we're saying if they have a location and that location is U.S., then we're going to display it. Otherwise, you know, skip it. That's all this is, and then some beautiful height and width stuff. But let's actually get to the real thing here, which is our children. We're going to put a child element here, and this element type is going to be an image. All right, and the only thing we really need on an image is our source attribute. So we do attributes, and we go down here, we go like this, and we delete that extra squiggly, and we say SRC for source. And in this case, we want to build a URL. So the place we're pulling this from is called is a site that's super old. Uh, it's uh, weatherforyou.net. And so we're just going to build a URL to this. We're going to say equals, and then we're just going to do string building. So everything needs to go in these single quotes, and we're kind of going to build a string here. And by string, I just mean text. So it's going to be a, a link. So let's grab the first part of this. It's all very straightforward because it's cut and paste. And I'm just going to paste a link here. You see, it's this wonderful thing. It's going to give a PNG. It's an hourly. But now we want to put our place in. And so in this case, now we're going to keep building. All right, so now we're going to put a plus. And what do we want to build here? So in this case, we want to put, we're going to reference the other column, which is called location. So we reference it like that. And then we're going to say address dot city, just like we did before. But we're doing it all inside those square brackets to get the sub properties of an, the column over to the left there. Since we're in the weather column, we're looking for the location column. We're going to do the city. And then we're going to plus, and we're going to ampersand, and we're going to say state equals. All right, and then we're going to plus a little more. We're going to say dot location dot address dot state. And then we're going to say and country, even though it's only U.S., <laughs> equals uh, U.S. And let me make sure I've got all that over there. Okay. And then we're going to add just a little more, and that would be 
uh, we want to add some colors and displays, right? So in this case, they've got this idea of where you can add a background color, text display, all that kind of stuff. So for that, we're just going to paste that in. So they've got these background is transparent, and we're going to say the text is black. Um, and then we're going to add uh, a display value. So if we, if we were to just to render this right now as is, we'll see. Woo, beautiful. I'm not sure what's uh, going on with the Bronco Wigs Incorporated. Oh, because it's coming back to the United States. That's interesting. So we can we can check that here. We could say it. Or I right, can say whoop -a -doop -a -doop. little parentheses. So you can see we've got the ands and we got the parentheses, and we'll say an or. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I'm having a good time. All right. And we'll say that and we'll put equals United States. We'll try that. There we go. So now we've covered that condition as well. How fun. All right. So now we'll come down here. And what we can do is now it's showing Tampa, Florida. We're just showing kind of the city where it's located by default with this API, but it does provide one other property. And that's this, we could say ampersand, because we're just building the query strings here. Ampersand HWV display. Right. And then we're going to say equals. And once again, we're going to say a plus. Nope, not inside there. There we go, outside the quotes, plus, and we're going to say location dot display name. Again, all caps on the, uh, it's kind of camel or whatever it's called there. Okay, let's preview that. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we can see it's a little bigger than our column. We'll drag that over. But the idea here is we can use all sorts of different properties of this location. If we want to generate this as a link, you know, directly to like weather.com or something else. Uh, we can get that, but the idea is this will update whenever your list item refreshes or your list itself refreshes. So if something updates here, it's going to go and call this again and go get the new image, get the new weather, and so on. So that's pretty cool. That's one way to do this. So there's a lot of different uh, what we call kind of static image APIs um, you can use. Again, we've got like the static maps from Google Maps and Bing as well. You can build, but there's various other ones there. We've got lots of samples of this and they all kind of do the same thing. You're going to build a source for the image um, and then you're just going to take various properties. And in this case, we've got a lot of rich properties we can pull. So that's really cool. All right. And finally, let's wrap it up here and just take a look. Just to review, these are all the different properties. And again, I've got this as an at current field if you're applying it to the location field itself. But if not, just swap out this part with that, uh, the name of your, the internal name of your column. You get all these things. The location URI is a Bing Maps entity and does require kind of an API connection. So generally, this isn't going to be super helpful, uh, but it's there. So take a look at it. All right. So resources for you. Check out the uh, full documentation, which has all the things I just showed you. Uh, but these are the two samples that really use the location column and give you an idea of how you could use those various sub properties. So the address and weather samples. Uh, but then these are some that also show mapping uh, throughout there. And that's all I got. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Very cool stuff. Awesome.